Cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me Don't you be afraid y'all welcome back to the channel so today i'm about to make some italian sausage casserole before i begin could you please go ahead and hit the like button subscribe to the channel and leave me some comments down below if you've ever had italian sausage casserole before and if so how did you prepare it so before i begin happy valentine's day <laughs> so today is sunday and if you don't celebrate valentine's day happy Sunday to you so I've already cut up five no six and a half five and a half onions and that's here and I've already cut up my bell peppers and my multicolor sweet peppers I was trying to save some time y'all know how to cut them and all I did was slice them the long way. And the same thing for the onions. And I'll, I did save some so you can see me do the last little bit of them. So all I did was slice the onion in half. And then I place it here. That's my husband and son going back and forth about the aquarium. And that's all you're going to do to that. And you're just going to break them apart like this. And I'll add those to the bowl. This little piece I take away. As well as these little pieces right here I take away. Now for the bell peppers, all I did was slice around the bell pepper and then that left me with these and so i'm just doing the same thing slicing straight down and that's it and that's how i did that so let's move on to the next step okay so i don't have a big enough bowl i don't know where i'm on really large glass bowl is. I kind of think somebody broke it and not telling me about it, but it's neither here nor there. So what I would do now is season this with salt and pepper, and that's all I'm using. That's the only seasoning that I'm using in this is salt and pepper, just that basic. So because I don't have a big bowl, usually I would just do it inside of that bowl. I'm gonna put it in the container that I um, would actually have the casserole in. I don't know the size of this container, but you can put, you can make this dish in any size container, y'all. My oven is set for 425. So all I'm gonna do is put these in, season them up with the salt and pepper, and then put them back in that because we have to stack our layers with the potatoes. And that's what the recipe calls for. Bell peppers, onions, Italian sausage and Idaho potatoes. So we're just gonna put a little bit of salt. And then pepper. It depends on how much you chop up as far as how much salt and pepper you use. And I also top mine off with pepper, so. All I'm gonna do now, hands are clean. I did bring my gloves, but we're gonna do it for the people who don't have gloves. This is a great dish. You can eat it any kind of way you wanna eat it. You can eat it by itself with just a um, sausage casserole, or you can take your um, hot dog buns that I have sitting over here. You can make a sandwich, I mean, make hot dog with it, sausage dog with it, as if you went to the state fair. Um, so once you get this all covered as well as you want it to be, I'm just going to put them right back in to the bowl. Well, if you're already doing it in a big bowl, you wouldn't have to do all of that, but I'm having to work extra today because of 
somebody doing something to my bowl. What did y'all do today for Valentine's? We're just hanging around on a good old rain Sunday here in Columbia. The next, I'm going to take my plates. I know that looks like a lot, y'all, but once you start layering it, it won't look like that. And plus, I like a lot of onions, and I need to put extra onions just in case um, my son takes my onions. So I'm going to add some black pepper to that. have it in, you can move to your next step. My next step is to put them back in this glass bowl. So that I can move to my next step. Seems like I have more onions now. I'm going pour them out. It didn't seem like that much. But it doesn't matter. You can just put them wherever. Because they're all going to go in. Okay, so. Get these up and let me wash my hands. Here are the potatoes I have already. I just got through rinsing, washing them off, and drying them, patting them dry with a cloth because you don't. These come out to dirt, y'all, and we're gonna keep the skin on when we cook them, so you wanna make sure they're clean. So these potatoes right here, this is just another meal that you can make with something out of your prepper pantry because we all should have potatoes, right? And potatoes can be stretched in so many ways, and this is just one idea of what you can do with your potatoes besides the normal mashed potatoes or, um, baked potato. So here's something. Let's get started. There. So all you want to do is just cut the ends off. Move them aside. If you see this right here in it, you can just take your paring knife and cut that part out. No sense in wasting. whole potato when you can just cut that out, right? And I hope they're not all like that because you know when I got these from Sam's, these were the last three bags that they had in there. So the rest of it's good. And so all you're gonna do now is just slice them like you're making chips. My mom used to make homemade potato chips all the time. Just another way that she would stretch out her potatoes because we didn't have a lot, you know, growing up. And so I was doing this too when I was a little girl because I wanted chips and I didn't have money to buy them, but we had potatoes. So that's what I did. So I'm just gonna throw these aside. And I'm gonna finish dicing these up. So I had 14. I used nine of these, and I'm gonna wait and see how many do I did I need any more or not. So when I was cutting, this is the size that you want it to be. At least I like mine this way. You can do what you want. This one had. Um, Let's see if I can find it. This had like a little bad part in it, like this right here. So all I did was cut it out and I'm gonna keep that. Take you some vegetable oil or olive oil spray, whichever you prefer. Spray 
spray tan because you don't want the potatoes to stick. The longest part of this is the cutting. Otherwise, it's a very simple, simple dish. So you're just gonna layer your potatoes in the bottom. And this is a big pan, that's why I figured I needed more potatoes. I usually don't use a pan this size. And make sure y'all, if you get these pans from like the dollar store, like I got mine or any store, make sure you wash them because people are touching on them. Don't just get it and start cooking it. your pan is layered like that you can sit it aside that's just the start also gonna add mushrooms to it only because I don't want these to go bad and so this is the sausage that I'm using I'm gonna give these a little rinse I'm just going, not small, but just so it'll be enough to cover the whole pan. Okay, so now we have the Italian sausage up here. It's 15 of these right here. I'm gonna leave four of them whole. So I'm gonna sit four aside. That way we can make um, a hot dog with it, with the onions and stuff. And then the rest will get diced. I leave the casings on. about how big I make them. So now all you're gonna do, I hope y'all can see what I have going on here. But all you're gonna do now is you're gonna layer your meat. what that's looking like all layered up and then you're just gonna put however you want to put it in there first let me season it the meat. and again I'm only using salt and pepper if there's another seasoning that you would like to use go right ahead knock yourself out this is your recipe I'm gonna to open up my other Black pepper. I don't put a lot of salt because potatoes have salt in them. So that's why I don't put a lot of salt. I used to, but now I'm trying to wash. Like if you don't eat meat or whatever, you could just do the mushrooms and have the mushrooms be your meat, but just keep them whole.
usually I put these potatoes in before I do all of that. And I probably should have did that just so you could see it. But you just take your potatoes, you stick them around the edge of the pan like that. So you can either do it before, you can do it after, it doesn't matter. They slide right on in there. Just go all around the edge of the pan. And that's why with this pan, I had to cut extra potatoes. Hopefully I don't need to cut any more because I'm so over cutting right now. And if you have extra um, vegetables left over and not a lot of meat left over, you can always cook you some more meat to go with it and have it for leftovers. So that's all of the bell peppers, all of the onions, all on there. see my pepper and now you're just going to cover the top of your um, pan Let me take it back so y'all can see I like to put extra. And that's it. This is gonna go in the oven. I have my oven at 425. So, but your oven, you know your oven. You don't have to put it on 425. You can put it on 400. But with mine, I know I need to put it on 425. And I should have did this earlier today because this is gonna take about three hours for everything to cook down and get tender and that's it that's all you have to do for this meal I'm going to cook this like I said for three hours after hour number two you can go in with a fork or a knife and put some holes in here to get it out. Not a lot, but until then, let the aluminum foil stay on because that's going to help it cook uh, hopefully a little bit faster for you. And I will show you the finished results as soon as it comes out of the oven. I promise. Okay? If you haven't liked the video, go ahead and like it. So this is the finished dish, and it looks delish. <laughs> this is all your onions and your bell peppers and your good old meat, and you can just eat it like this, or you can put it on some bread or buns, I mean, and eat up.